Hello, this is Renee Esquivel, and you're watching my latest video on my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. Uh, please go ahead and give me a nice like uh, and subscribe uh, to my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be demonstrating the uh, Air Squirrels application called Reflector. It's Reflector 4, version 4. And that one lets you uh, take any Apple device and mirror its, its screen onto that computer that's running Reflector. And that computer can be a Mac or Windows. Uh, so let's get right into it and you'll see this working real nicely. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is launch the Reflector app. And let's check some of the settings here. Uh, by default, it, it'll have always on top set. I myself prefer not to have that enabled so that I can have any app that I need uh, take the foreground. So I, I uncheck that. And then the other option here is uh, la launch at login. That is not turned on by default. I go ahead and do that because I don't want to have to remember to turn on reflector. Uh, it's, I simply want it to be that anytime I need to airplay a, a device onto my uh, desktop, all I got to do is uh, direct my uh, Apple uh, product to go do that okay so once those are set those are the ones I do um, first one I'll do is is going to be my uh, iPad uh, the mirroring um, you can see that name view that is the name of my uh, Windows laptop and um, Pretty soon, uh, the reflector is going to go ahead and publish that four digit code. And then here, I'm going to be prompted to enter that code in. That's 6779. I see where. And once that's done, you'll see the. Uh, the desktop up here um, for my iPad. Now I've actually chosen a skin uh, a, a, the, uh, for a frame. Um, by default, it doesn't have that, but you can choose that. And then of course, you'll see here um, that whatever I do on the uh, on the iPad, you see it being mirrored there on the desktop. Now I'm going to go ahead and shrink that a bit here because uh, I don't want it taking up quite so much space. Actually, let me make this a bit more relevant here. That's I have the app um, Good Notes, which I um, use particularly when uh, helping my son with his math, uh, so that I can. Uh, when he has a, a problem up on a browser uh, for his homeschooling homeschooling program, uh, he can have the uh, the question up on this on in his browser, and I can go ahead and show him directly how to do that. Um, but I want to show that unlike uh, Apple mirroring, which is one actor on the stage, only one device that is um, going ahead and uh, mirroring. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, uh, mirror the uh, MacBook Pro over. Let's go to the control panel there. And there's the same name for my computer. Pick that. And again, it's going to flash a code, and it'll be the same four-digit code uh, it was earlier. So here we go. Uh, 6779. And soon you'll see uh, 
the MacBook Air also being mirrored on the desktop of my Windows PC. Again, I do have some control over the size on that. Okay. And I've said before uh, of Air Squirrels in regards to their product, um, uh, Air Parrot, that it out airplays Apple on AirPlay, and that's even more so here on the reflector. I do love how you can have multiple devices. In fact, all your Apple devices or any Windows device that's running Air Parrot mirroring onto the one screen uh, of the device running reflector. So that's actually quite useful. Um, this is very similar to the way the uh, air server works on the Xbox. Um, I just like the uh, reflector. Uh, I like it quite a bit more. And the price is very reasonable. You can get it for $20 or for 28 because you use a coupon, a 20% off coupon that they get. You can get both Air Parrot and the Reflector with a Windows and Mac license. That's just very reasonable. Very, very reasonable. And there you have it. Well, and there you have it. Um, you got to see how well that works. And I want to add, it isn't necessarily easy and straightforward to mirror devices onto a Mac, uh, MacBook but it is if you run Reflector on that MacBook. I also want to add that you can screen record in Reflector. However, that one tends to be, that not tends to be, it is per device. So I haven't found that to be that useful. Uh, it, I, I'd like it more if it was mirroring the whole screen. But regardless, uh, you can do that. And there's another app you can get uh, on the Windows side to go ahead and near the entire device. And on the Mac, of course, you just use QuickTime. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, again, like and subscribe.